And please welcome Antonio Bellucci, our DIY guy, with another great project. We were talking about cottage lighting. Yes. So this is kind of apropos. We're going to talk a little bit more about lighting, right? Exactly. Some exterior, some interior? Actually, it's pretty much all for exterior. You know All what? exterior. It, it really helps make the light nights go longer. Yeah. And I always try and find a, find a reason to stay outside longer in the summer. Why not? So here. The first one we have is stained glass. Okay. And That's And it's actually very pretty. stained glass made easy. And I discovered this in a craft supply store. It's lead strip with an adhesive back, and you can cut it with scissors, and it's really easy. All you need to do is sort of peel off the tape. Okay. And then you simply apply it. Ooh, sorry, where'd you find that? Just I had a craft hardware? supply store. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you get a little tool with a sharp edge on the end of it. Yeah. And what you want to do is just apply pressure repeatedly a few times, so that way it really sort of smooths it out. Right. And then when you, when you do that all the way around, you're going to get something that looks like this. Okay, that is so nice. And now you've got a demarcation exactly. that you can paint between, right? And then you take your little... It um, actually even looks nice like this. Oh, no, it looks great. Isn't it adds a nice, some nice detailing to it, which is really nice. Okay, you got it? And then you take your glass paint. Mm -hmm. And when you're working with glass paint, it, go, it, shows the, um, it shows the brush marks a lot. So you really have to start from the start and take it all the way to the end. Right. And just get good, really good coverage. And what you can do is put on a few coats to get a darker finish. Right. And it's okay that you see that brush stroke exactly. as long as it doesn't look too messy. Exactly. And I just put in some battery operated tea lights, and there you have it. Look at that! Isn't that? That's beautiful. Thank you. That's Thank very you. nice. Okay, so that's project number one. And project number two are these basket lanterns. Oh, is that what they are? They're baskets? They're old baskets that I bought at a secondhand store. So take store. a look at these. Isn't that amazing? And it's really easy to do. So yeah. what you need to do is you need to find some baskets, and you need to find ones that are still in good shape and good form. Right. And you're going to turn it upside down, and you're going to take some wire. And you could use uh, a coat hanger if you like, but I like the wire because it's really dark and thin. Right. And you're just going to feed it in the bottom, and you're going to put a little chain through it, and then you're going to feed it through, so you loop it through. So this is what you can do with your garbage bins when you're done with them. Exactly. You don't use them anymore as garbage exactly. bins. And they then can you, become a light. You twist them, you twist them, and there you go. And then what you want to do is you want to pick up some puck lights. And these are great because they're battery operated. Right. And they come in different sizes. Uh-huh. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to take some adhesive, and you're going to simply put it on the perimeter of the puck light on the back. And the yeah. reason you do it on the perimeter is because if you want to change the battery, you just take an exacto knife and cut it around carefully. Got it. And then you turn it upside down, and then you'll have a and lantern. Voila, you get this, and it's actually a working light. A lot exactly. of people looking for that more casual look outdoors. Exactly. This is really going to fit the bill. And Good you can stuff. put it underneath a tree, easy. which will look really nice. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. And now this is probably my favorite. This yes. is called a tuna torch. Okay. <laughs> so I've had a lot of tuna in the last couple of weeks to get ready for this right. DIY. So you need the tuna cans. You need tuna cans. And you also need a wooden dowel. Right. And so instead of buying a wooden dowel, I actually bought a wooden mop. Right. Just go to the, the dollar end. store, go to Chinatown, get your you cheap go. little mop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a, a reducer, and this is a, a three-quarter inch bushing reducer. Okay. And you can find this in the electrical department of a building supply store for like 69 cents. And you're going to tap it in on the end of the dowel, and this right. is going to give you more contact surface at the top. And you're going to use some glue as well. Okay. And then you're going to pre-drill your tuna can with a little hole. Yeah. And then you're going to simply screw it down onto the top, and when you're you, you want to glue the bushing and glue the can at the top so just to give it more sturdy. Exactly. Yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to simply prime it and paint it with some exterior paint. If you want to hold that. I like that you did red here. Yes. It looks completely seamless. It's amazing. And then so you're going to simply place your candle on top. Uh huh. And you plan this to match my outfit? Totally. I totally, like that. Totally. I love that about you, Antonio. And then there's this here. Look at that, and you've got your torches. A lot of people like these outside, and you've put it in this lovely little uh, a little pot. A little pot at the bottom here with I would rocks stick it and in soil. My, stick, it, stick it in my soil, though, my garden bed. You can, yes, yeah, stick yeah. it in your garden bed. But you know, I want to show go. you something else. If you could okay, just sure. hold on to that for a second. Sure. If say you got a real traditional look one year, and next yes. year you want to sort of change it up. Okay. What you can do is simply take off these two pieces. Okay. And then get an electric pillar candle, and I tell you, I'll. All these battery operated candles are amazing. They are. And you simply making things stick really it in easy. there and take a look at how it transforms into something totally modern. Very contemporary. It's like decorator's magic. It is. There you Very go. nice. I'm going to let you hold this Thank and I'm going to tell our viewers go to our website, cityline.ca, for instructions for Antonio's projects. They are great. Thank Once you. again, that is cityline.ca.